welcome to the testing world this series of videos are specific to SOAP UI or ready API certification and it's a crash course here I will focus only on the topics which are related and most important for certification and as I told you we are not going to cover SOAP UI completely or ready API completely here we will cover only the topics which will help you to get better understanding from certification point of view so first of all I'm expecting whoever is going through this video must have understanding of SOAP UI or ready API you are working on that now you want to go for the certification so let me explain here complete process so SOAP UI has two versions one is SOAP UI free version and other one is the paid version paid version name is SOAP UI NG Pro or Ready API. So company name is Smart Beer. They give the option to get certified in SOAP UI free version or paid version which is Ready API. So it's up to you which one you want to pick. But let me just tell you it is a SOAP UI free version. SOAP UI open source means SOAP UI free version. This Ready API is a SOAP UI Pro version. Here in the free version cert certification they focus on the tool concepts as well as programming concepts means if you want to go for the SOAP UI open source certification you must focus on the tools different options different functionalities and also with the programming concepts but in the case of ready API which is a pro version of the SOAP UI so we need to focus on the tool its components its functionalities how to implement logical scenarios so I can say in both of these certification major difference is programming concepts in free version as per my experience they will ask some programming concepts as well but in case of the pro version it will be completely focused on ready API functionalities its implementation with some real-time scenarios now how to register for the certification so that is a link you can use even if I will share this link with you you can just go to this link simply go to this link here you will get option to, to select which certification you want to go for so as I told you there is two there are two certifications so API open source certification and ready API certification so whichever the certification you want you can simply add to cart you can make payment and register here while registering make sure you are giving correct email address because they will send you credentials on the email for taking the certification so once you registered your step one would be done as you know while going for the certification we need to select SOAP UI open source which is a free version of the SOAP UI or ready API certification it's up to you once you make a payment it will normally take around 24 to 48 hours for getting the details means for getting credentials for the certification once you get the email with credentials there it will be a link to attempt certification you can simply go to that link enter username and password just check your username and password are working or not after that you can go for the certification but I would suggest whenever you are getting the credentials always check it is working or not now these are the few details about the certification you will get 60 multiple choice questions passing marks would be 70 percent so out of the 60 you will have to complete you will have to clear at least 42 questions there would not be any negative marking you will get two attempts to clear it so if you give go for the certification and you are not able to clear that you will get one more attempt but if you fail in both attempt then you will have to register again you will have to pay again for the certification now here I would tell you what all the prerequisite you must satisfy it before going to the certification even uh, from the smart beer side or I would say on their website there's nothing mentioned as a prerequisite but as per my experience 
these are the few prerequisites you must satisfy before going for the certification. So you must have knowledge of each and every component of SOAP UI and Ready API. As I told you, in certification, majorly focus on the tool, its functionalities, way of implementation. So we must have knowledge of each and every component which is the part of SOAP UI or you can call it Ready API. So let's take an example. In Ready API, you are getting report. So they will ask you which component is used for generating report. So this kind of questions you will get. Must have Groovy programming knowledge for SOAP UI open source certification. As I told you previously, when you are going for SOAP UI open source certification, there will be some programming concepts as well. So you must have knowledge of Groovy programming must have good knowledge of different options, different components like reporting options, different type of steps we are having, different type of assertions we are having. So you will get a lot of questions related to the steps, assertions and reporting. There they will ask use of different type of assertions or steps or you will get scenario based questions. You will have to select which component or which step or which assertion will be fit. Last and which is most important, you must have working experience of the SOAP UI or Ready API tool. Even that is not mandatory, but still I would say if you have understanding of the SOAP UI tool, if you are working on it, it will be easy for you to attempt these questions. But again, practical working of the SOAP UI or Ready API is completely different from the certification. So I would say this is required, but that is not only thing you should have, because I have seen many guys who are not able to clear the certification even they have number of years experience in SOAP UI or Ready API. But still that is a good thing if you have working knowledge of SOAP UI or Ready API. Now what would be our roadmap for this course? As I told you it's a crash course and we will mainly focus on SOAP UI or Ready API certification. That would uh, our roadmap. In next few lectures I will tell you different tool features and the component. Component as I told you, which component is used for reporting. If you are going for the service mocking, which component will be used. So that kind of concepts we will cover in next few videos. Then we will move to the different type of assertions, UI options and dependencies. So let's take an example. I want to validate some data in the JSON response and it should be on the specific place. That's my scenario. Which assertion would be best fit for it? It could be XPath assertion, JSON, JSON path, it could be uh, SLA. So that kind of questions you will get and you will have to understand, okay, that's a question on this place, this particular assertion would be best fit. So this kind of questions we are going to cover in the step two. Then when we are making a request, what kind of inputs we are sending, where we can put the data into the request, how we can update data of the request, how we can check what kind of request is going, what is the request which is going. So we will have to understand this request component and what are the best features or components or sections to use while making requests. You can get some questions which are related to the security testing as well, because as we know, Ready API support security and load test case as well. We will understand few concepts of the security as well as queue. After that, I will show you data source, data sync, data gen and reporting. I found these are the topic which are most important for the certification point of view. You should have good knowledge of the data source, data, data gen, data sync and reporting. So we will cover that part. And at the end, I will show you some debugging, mocking and programming concepts. These are the most important topics while going for the certification. But I'm not saying only these topics will help you to clear the certification. You should have knowledge, working knowledge of all features which we are having in the SOAP UI already API but these are the set of topics which I found are most important for certification point of view so that will be our roadmap for this course so it's a small course where we are targeting SOAP UI or ready API certification that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this